already know if you don't know then now you know that it's a what's on my iphone video and i wanted to bring you guys this because if you're anything like me you're nosy and you want to know what's on that phone because i want to know what's on that phone so i gave you guys a what's on my iphone and i will be just telling you everything that's on my phone and um you know what people do on what's on my iphones i might do mine a little different because yeah, I'm going to do it how I feel like doing it. Anyways, moving forward. So here we have my baby. It's my bird. And ain't nobody going to touch him. Nobody. But yeah, um, this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, I got it from Apple themselves. Um, what else did you guys mind? Oh, this is a case that um, I was gifted, so I don't know where it's from. Probably Amazon, but um, here we are. This is my front screen. This is my front page, my very first page. I only have two pages of, like, apps and stuff because, like, like I said, I'm a minimalistic person. So I don't like to look at a lot. I don't like to see a lot. I don't like to... Yeah. So here we have... Um, the picture at the top says girls do it better I don't even feel like that needs explaining like women just are so powerful like they are they can bestow so much upon the society and the world that it's just like we don't give them enough credit like we need to start giving women an enough credit and I'm not just saying that because I'm a woman I'm saying that because I came from a woman I'm saying that because women have done so much in our society like and they're always like looked at last and they need to be looked at first so yeah yeah that's how I feel about that moving forward um we have this calendar I like to have the calendar there um because because I like to see the dates and stuff like that just because um I am doing a lot with my life right now like I'm going to school um working um doing this youtube thing like it's a lot for me so i have to keep up on the dates just to make sure that everything's in order and everything is going smoothly and everything is running as it should be running that being said this calendar helps me to know the date helps me to know what needs to be done today based on the date and things of that nature um it's just a reminder um a lot of the things that are on like my screen are to are reminders for me like because I like to be reminded of certain things and I feel like what better way to be reminded than something that you constantly have like I constantly have my phone in my hand everybody a lot of people can say the same and that is why a lot of these things are like that so um the thing that says um the picture at the bottom I actually made myself I made it on Fonto isn't it so cute but it says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Um, that's another thing that just doesn't need to be explained. Like, I just need that motivation on my phone. When you wake up in the morning and you look at, at your phone, even if you don't read it every morning subliminally, like, like unconsciously, your mind is taking in that information. And it's important that that information is positive and that's the kind of positive information or part of it, positive motivation I would like, like, to know like I would just like to wake up in the morning and know like I can do all things today like that's the kind of push you need to start your day to move forward and everything that you do you need that kind of motivation so I'm going to encourage you to put something motivational somewhere you can see whether it's in your room whether it's in on your phone whether it's in your car whatever it is just like so when you look at it you just keep keep moving like keep pushing always keep it pushing always keep it moving always know you can do all things that was just a mouthful y'all I talk a lot anyways moving on so whoops here we have my um on this page I have all of the apps that I use like the most frequent so we have my education apps because like I said I'm in school full-time so I'm it's like all of my time is spent doing school stuff like most of my time if I'm not doing school stuff I'm sleeping because I need to like gain the energy to do more school stuff so yeah, let me just go ahead and open this to show you all the apps. I don't even know why you, you need Blackboard anymore because my school doesn't use it. But 
before my school used it i needed a blackboard i can go ahead and delete it now but whatever um we have zoom the devil because y'all know what zoom came in and did to us like we deserve compensation like in a couple years it's going to be like an advertisement if you use zoom you deserve compensation for a second because i deserve it now i want my money now like not later so yeah you zoom is self-explanatory then we have socratic i didn't tell you to get socratic but i told you to get socratic because if you if you in school you need that you need that it's key I have Duolingo because I be on my biracial, biracial, I be on my biracial tip, I be on my bilingual stuff, I be trying to learn languages and stuff because I be trying to be multifaceted and stuff, you know? Be trying to be more than what you see on the eye, I want to have all that up there, up there in the brain too. So yeah, the Anki app, um, if you're studying for like a major test, SAT, SAT, ACT, GRE, um mcat this is a very good app it has a whole bunch of flashcards with like review for tests like that which is what i use it for then we have this authenticator app which is basically foolishness don't even worry about it then we have canvas if you know canvas you know that is my school's like education like platform that's how i get all my school announcements all my homework assignment how i turn in my homework assignments how i keep up with my grades all that good stuff um yeah basically enough of that boring stuff let's move on to this next tab which is my travel tab if you know me you know this year has been my travel year like i've been on my travel tip heavy and um because like i didn't have to go to school so it was like why not like i had nowhere else to be so yeah i was traveling heavy you guys might get mad and be like you were being irresponsible but the way that I travel, I travel. I think I travel responsibly. Everybody has their own definition of responsibility and things of that nature. But yeah. So um, let me just open this. We have Expedia. I like her. I like her just to get hotels and stuff. See like the different pricing and stuff like that. Um, she kind. I think sometimes she gives the lowest. Uh, I'm, I'm referring to her as she, which is so funny. But I think um, it gives the lowest. Um, rate sometimes sometimes uh, it could get iffy but um i like to go to expedia first just to see what i'm looking at and see if they're giving the lowest rate and go ahead and book on there we have uber this is for when i'm traveling when i'm traveling and you know either we don't have a car we don't feel like driving we get in the uber lyft is uber's competitor so i just compare between which one it wants to give me the best bang for my buck and you got to always make sure you're doing that don't just take the first deal you don't just take the first number you see make sure you're doing your comparison and that's on everything okay so yeah i'm constantly doing my comparisons and making sure i'm getting the best bang for my buck we have hopper which um gives me the best flight rate um or not the best flight rate but it tries to give me the best flight rate and i like it i like going on there and seeing um yeah so then we have airbnb um airbnb is self-explanatory it's like a like it's vacation homes basically vacation homes that people put on their site and there's it's supposed to be cheaper than hotels it hasn't been lately it hasn't been lately and for that airbnb let me talk to you for a second because i just feel like you tried me you tried me because we all was on airbnb because it was cheaper we was all like oh it's cheaper let's get on there and you've been acting really funny i don't like that all these travel apps i feel like are good so go ahead and check them out and see if they work for you if not and you have something that's better and you want to like let me know you want to put me on go ahead and put me on in the comments and let me know what apps y'all use because i really want to know um then we have social media social media is or not social media my social um folder social i'm very social i would like to say like or am i i'm social from a distance i would say like like over social media yeah let me turn off i'm gonna put this one on do not disturb so y'all can't see my little text because y'all nosy we're not getting that deep in this song we're not getting that deep 
so yeah this is my social media tab okay we have tiktok everybody know about tiktok tiktok's why i go to laugh i love tiktok because it's funny like y'all are so funny on there like come on instagram i go to look to post my pictures to see everybody else's pictures like the pictures i want to see whatever like if i want to see what's Instagram is for like seeing what everybody's up to and things of that nature. I like Instagram. Then we have Twitter. Twitter is just Twitter's Twitter. I like Twitter also. We have um reports followers. This is how I check my follower count, see who's un who has unfollowed me, see who's following me now, see who I who's not following me back, like things of that nature. This is where I go. Now Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest I go on for inspo. I go on for inspo for everything. Like everything. Like hair inspo. Outfit inspo. Like decor inspo. Like everything. Like look at my decor. Isn't it so cute? Like everything on there. Like I could post this on Pinterest and it'd probably like. People would probably like it. Because like that's what um, Pinterest to me is for. Is for inspiration when you need. You need a little epiphany. That's why I go on um, Pinterest for. So here is my second page. At the top we have you see to infinity. This is a quote that I um, really like resonate. Not resonate with that. It really means something to me. If you know you know. If you don't then you don't need to. Because you're nosy. Touch your nose. But yeah like I said I like um reminders on my phone that remind me of something that's sentimental or means something to me or like motivates me and this is one of those things and um I like it because I understand it and not everybody has to understand what's motivation motivational or inspirational or sentimental to you but you and that's why I like it because I understand it and who needs to understand it understands it and that's that um in this pink we have stop playing with me we have brie day because my birthday is coming up in 15 days y'all in two weeks in two weeks your girl's gonna be 22 22 like all my taylor swift stuff I'm feeling 22 in two weeks. Stop playing with me. And that's why I have that there just to remind me like whenever I'm feeling like, oh, like, mm, I go and remind myself like we're going to be turning up in about two weeks. Yeah. So yeah, my birthday is kind of like very, it's kind of like important to me. I feel like everybody should take their birthday serious because um not even for like gifts not even for like partying like none of that just because you got to understand like there's all you have been alive a whole nother year like a lot of people didn't get that opportunity so you have to make sure that you're living it up every year next we have the it is all a part of the process at the bottom um i like to make sure that I understand that like little things that happen in like your experience in your life and your like life events can cause you to be like discouraged or you feel down or you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be or you feel like you should be somewhere else everything is a part of the process it's all a part of the greater good it's all a part of the greater a greater story than what you can foresee in your future right now and you have to be understanding of that and you have to make sure that you're like, it's okay to be discouraged for now, but, like, just always be trying to be positive, be optimistic. Like, understand that things are going to work out for your good. Um, yeah. Then we have photo and video. Um, this is very important for when I'm posting pictures, posting YouTube videos, all of that. Like, this is how I just make it happen. Then we have um, shopping. I do a lot of shopping. So this is like an extensive, an extensive folder. We have Poshmark. Poshmark is that girl when you um, want to sell anything that you had before or you want to buy something like it's like a thrift store but like an electronic virtual like online thrift store it's really that girl for selling and buying like if you don't want to pay full price for something um this is one of those things that um it's cool because it has like a a guarantee like if you get something and it's not what you ordered or it's not what you thought it would be like they could give you your money back they can give you partial refunds full refunds all of that 
so that's a good good thing about this um then we have depop depop is also like really good um it's a little how do i say it's newer than poshmark i feel like poshmark walked so depop could have run because it's like yeah so depop is also like a online thrift um then we have sneakers which i'm gonna delete this app because why i don't never win nothing that don't even make sense. Every time I just enter, 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 every time your yo draw was not selected. Every time, every time. How is that every time? Something's up. Something's up. Like, it's it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, and it's not fair. So, sneakers CEO, sneakers, like, whoever, like, let me talk to you for a second, because that's not fair. Like, let me want just one. I just want one. Like, I'm not even asking for that much. So, yeah. And um, that's why I buy or try. That's why I try to buy my sneakers because I don't really buy anything off of there. We have Shein. Um, Shein is like affordable clothing. Um, yeah, we have Klarna. I really like Klarna because she allows you the opportunity to pay in installments. And I just use her because um, I don't like to feel like like I like I said I shop a lot. So to make myself feel better, like I'll just pay like one installment today so i don't feel like i'm you know spending that much money in all reality you're spending that much money but it makes me feel better like i'm not because like i'm only paying one today like one installment i'm only paying one fourth of it like, all right bestie so this has been the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope um it gave what it was supposed to give um uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll definitely get back with y'all at another time later Eminem, we like it, we can Drop it top, pop it, let it breathe Straight up Been lost, been lost